It is the distant future. The year is 2000. The robots have taken over from the robots uprising. There is no longer any unhappiness. Affirmative. We no longer say the yes. Future. We say affirmative. The year 2000. Anyways. <laughs> what we're going to be checking out today is Mother. I just shook that beer up. So the beer we're going to be checking out today is Treehouse Brewing's Machine Head. Gosh, that sounds like a Bush song. Oh, it's Juice Machine. So the beer we're going to be checking out today is Treehouse Brewing's Juice Machine. This beer comes in at 8.2% ABV, a 70 IBUs. It gets an average rating on Untapped of 4.66. Juice Machine was originally devised and brewed to support our very first trip to Extreme Beer Festival in 2014. It is essentially a marriage of the King Julius malt bill with a hopping schedule more intense than very green. The use of Magnum, Columbus, Amarillo, Citra, and Gauzy create perhaps our most complex beer with unapologetic flavors of mango, creamy orange, sorbet, papaya, and passion fruit with wave after wave of juicy hot flavor. In spite of its intensity, it is pellowy soft and drinks like a true pleasure. It is a mess of hot flavor that takes us to a place that few other of our beers do. It's Hop Nirvana. Why don't they just call it Hop Nirvana then? All right, so let's try this uh, machine head, juice machine, juicer, whatever, American Double IPA. Okay. Right away, I will say this thing looks cloudy, dirty. Um, it, it looks like the bottom of the carboy that's just caked with yeast. Um, this head is thick. It is muffin top marshmallow thickness. I mean, it overflowed a bit and held its shape for so long. I would say it was probably an inch to half inch out of the glass and bending over and held it for so long. It is thick. It smells like papayas and, and, and mangoes. Just like or orangey fruits. Yeah. Right up front, it's actually just thick. Not a whole lot of just punching in your mouth. Ooh, that's good flavor at the back end. I'll tell you that. But then it just builds and builds and builds and builds. That middle section after you swallow it and just two to three seconds afterwards, it's starting to get in that juiciness. And then as it lingers, it's starting to taste more like, like candy sweetness. It really does kind of almost melt in your mouth. However, though it does kind of taste like there is yeast still in that kind of discourages me from drinking it, but I don't really care if I close my eyes and just... Mm. Oh, that's a good beer. Oh crap, I'm drinking yeast, but I don't care because it tastes good. It's pretty close to the thickness of, uh, you know, like a, a, a barrel-aged stout without that, but you know that, not that quite syrupy thickness, but this has got some body to it. I would call this a chewy body. There are, are, are just a little things um, I have a problem with. I don't really care for the fact that it kind of does look and tricks my mind into thinking I'm drinking a lot of yeast. I don't taste it, but the wheat proteins, the weediness, and the type of yeast you do have to use kind of does coat your mouth into this almost tastes like powdery coating on top of your tongue. Uh, so that makes me discourage like, did I get the bottom of the keg? What happened? Uh, the great things about this beer though are the flavors. It actually just composes and complex and builds to these fruity flavors. Everything in the description that it stated, it really does taste like that. You taste the papaya, you taste some mango, you taste this kind of orangey, I would say sugar, but more like a marshmallowy orange peel type thing. Zero to very little hot burn. I just now kind of tasted a little bit of hot burn just now the last time I drank this. Um, but it's so subtle. It is well crafted. Uh, but really, overall, it just kind of uh, looks like I'm drinking yeast. 
but I'm not. And that's my only critique about this beer. Otherwise, it's a fantastic beer. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, on tap, Twitter, Facebook, all the big social media stuff. You know those? They'll be in the description at the bottom. Uh, I'm not going to be on Tinder or any of those Match.com websites. Do not swipe left to me. Well, you know, I'll probably still. Actually, you know what? Screw that. Swipe. Swipe. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, do that. Um, hit me in the comments below if you like this review or not, or what kind of beers you like to see me review, or, or what are the points of the beer you want to hear me talk about. I'd love to hear from you. See you guys later.